Hi, my name is Tracy Lemus, and I wanted to share with you my Mari Koru lesson plan. Um, this starts with just um, a basic lesson on the Mari people, the Mari tribe from New Zealand, and the actual uh, symbol that is used is from an uh, unfurling fern frond, and this represents in their culture um, new life, growth, peace, and strength. I thought this was a great picture to kind of uh, just pass around the classroom and let the kids familiarize themselves with this. Um, I think it'd be also a great idea to show them um, pictures of New Zealand, uh, what the Maor what the Maori uh, tribe uh, people look like, and as well as some other cultural things that they share, such as the haka, which is the traditional uh, New Zealand um, warrior dances. I then decided to print out some other art that shows the Mari Koru design. Sorry. And uh, just different art that I can also um, put up to just show the children what uh, just different aspects of it looks like. And I decided to do grades uh, first and second. And what I love about this lesson plan is that it can be adaptable from kindergarten all the way to sixth grade. I think just depending on the level of um, difficulty that you would want the children to um, use in their art. For my lesson plan, I decided that it'd probably be a little bit difficult for the kids to first start off um, by creating these type of designs and shapes. So I thought that I would make a handout so that they could uh, begin learning how to uh, do the little squiggly circle things, <laughs> I guess you would call it. So here's a single koru that they would begin with to trace and that way they can get the hang of just making the shapes. Um, and then also here's the double koru, which is what they would be ultimately putting on their art. Um, I just thought that for them to start off with this kind of training their hands and being more familiarized with the shapes. Um, I thought they would then be able to turn it over and maybe just do some freehand before they are given a piece of paper to do the actual art itself. And so with that, I thought that I would just use just a simple white blank piece of paper and have the children um, use a pencil and just to start drawing their designs, uh, just encouraging them to do large korus and small ones. And I thought that um, really, again, the reason why I like this lesson is because it can be adaptable to really use any supplies that you have. This particular uh, lesson I wanted to do paint, but there are other lessons that can use um, crayons, colored pencils, um, and even chalk. So really, it could be, um, I think it's great even for the younger kids, less messy to maybe do chalk. And so uh, once they're done with their design, um, I would then instruct them to pick out three colors. Um, I used these ones or even just regular acrylic paints. And um, I thought this would be a great way to re-emphasize and just to... Um, reiterate the primary colors. So for them to pick three primary colors and that way it also has them perhaps be more cognizant on the where they're gonna paint and with what colors and where so that way it's not just all jumbled together to different colors. I do have some examples of what they would look like once they were done. Um, I got these off of a website that had done it. I think it's, I believe it's through Crayola. And here is just, you know, they have their three basic colors that they used. And, um, you know, I think the designs came out great. Here's another example of the um, just designs that they were able to do with the three colors. Once they were done, I would let the paint dry and then just connect it to just a black piece of paper. I think it's just um, a great lesson to tie in art and culture and for them just to familiarize themselves with a different um, culture, I guess. <laughs>
Thank you so much.